People on the internet, family, and accustomed um, jack of all trades. Welcome to this week's very good video. Introducing Groovy Ghoulies Reanimation Festival. Rebrought to you for a new generation. The 2020 Repress on Stardom Records and Eccentric Pop Records. For that's who did it. Let's take a look at the front cover of the LP album here. So we have a windmill. See it? See it turn? No, it's a stationary image. At the top here we can see a Frankenstein style beast. Here we have a swinging velvet lad. There we have the moon. And around here the pitchforks and the flipping flames. Nice new artwork, kids. Up here, an interesting sticker saying their 1997 classic finally back in print, remastered on Moonlight White Vinyl. Let's take a look at the back of the album. If you're not familiar with this album, you might be because it has the same track listing as the Kepiguli and the Copyrights album, also known as Reanimation Festival from a couple of years ago. Um, we have the same tracks, therefore, on side A, track 1 through to 6, and side B, uh, 1, 2, 3, and another 6. That's very nice. This is the fifth LP by the bind called Groovy Ghoulies. Look at all the monsters on it. Very nice artwork. Traditional. Inside of the sleeve. We have a Dan Loud Code, which has very nice artwork on it. It has the artwork from the back of the sleeve emblazoned on the back, like a small collector's card. It has a poster-sized insert, very nice for your wall here. And on the other side, a fun mini comic for reading, for pleasure, for downsizing and for general embellishing. Let's take a look at the record LP now to discern its awful truth, to discern its nightmarish configurations. Something like that. So inside this black polyline sleeve, high quality release, is this moonlight white record which, as you can see, isn't quite moonlight white. Look at all the nice little marbling splotches in it. Very nice colour. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. This is side B, and it has the groovy ghoulies motif in the centre. And this is the other side, which is side A, which has a similar label. And let's listen to the music to see if it's good or not. Yes. Yes, sir. And Carpenter, and Plum, and Bob, and Dolores, all of the different people and jobs, and Fruit. This is indeed very good. This is a right old load of fun. Because this album is so old, and the reanimation festival uh, featuring Kepi Ghoulie and the copyrights from two years ago is so fresh in my mind. It was strange hearing these songs again, but in a different configuration. But it was nice. This is more of a rock and roll version compared to the more of a pop punk modern day version that you get with the re recording from the copyrights. This is definitely a top notch album, and the standout song on this by 
far the number one song on this, and the one that occurs to me in my lupus-filled brain whenever I'm having trouble in my days, and I, one of the songs on this occurs to me, like it often does. Unfortunately, I can never remember which one of these songs is the best, so what I've done is I've prepared an ear manuscript which will hold forth the information that I need to tell me which song was my favourite. Thank goodness for my ear manuscript. It's Tunnel of Love. That's the best song on the album as far as I'm concerned. And therefore, hoisting side A above side B. So if you can only afford one side of the LP, if you've spent all your money on loose bits of wool, rat hair, and alabaster carpet boards, if you've spent all of your money on those things and you can only afford one side of the LP, I'd go and get yourself side A, because it starts off with the lovely song Tunnel of Love, which is actually my very favourite Groovy Ghoulies song out of them all! Oh! I'd be like, out of them all! Just now, I was sitting here, approximately where I am now, and I, I'm, and I said, out of them all! And I meant every word that I said, it wasn't that long ago, Thinking back, it was probably about 15 or 20 seconds ago. And there I was, sitting here, and I said, Out of them all! Referencing all of the different songs. And I said to you, but it was a ton of love song. It's my favourite, Out of them all. It was about 30 seconds ago now. I was, um, I was about there. And I was, I was racking my brain as to my favourite song. And then I remembered it was my ear manuscript. Prepared an ear manuscript, which will... Yeah, and um, and that helped me to determine, in memory, which song was my favourite out of them all. It's funny I should say it that way, because that's very similar to the way I just said it about 40, 50 seconds ago, when I was, sit I was sitting about here like this, and I, and I said which one was my favourite song. It was a good time, but not as much as a good time as listening to this Joshua album here, this Rose and Joshua and Planted Bread Henry Baguette album. Those words might mean nothing to you, but this album should. You should go and check it out and have a nice day. Have a nice week. It's a fairly nice week. We just had Pokemon Day on, on last Saturday uh, because it was the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. That was nice. Um, yeah, not much else going on. Um, have a nice time. Um, check out that new NoFX album. That might be worth listening to. Probably not. Um, and uh, other stuff. Bye. Congeal. Thank you ever so much for watching my very good video. Don't forget to subscribe to the very good channel and come back next week for another very 